problem is that facing loss, we often prefer denial. We want things to get back to how they were. We, we long for the good old days. We, we say that we need to return to traditional values. We remember fondly how the confirmation class used to have 40 youth in it. We, we wish we could go there. But the problem with all sorts of denial and all sorts of nostalgia is they take some moment in the past and proclaim that is as good as it ever gets. And the moment we elevate any good old day to such a pinnacle, we have essentially denied the faith of the prophets. We have denied the faith of Jesus. We say that when it comes to our daily lives, when it comes to life here on earth, when it comes to the flow of history, God just doesn't have much to do with what's going to happen. God doesn't matter. And so in our day, false prophets of nostalgia arise, like Glenn Black, Beck, and, and say that the Bible and Jesus don't say anything about social justice, about a day that is coming when the poor are lifted up and the hungry are filled with good things, about a day when shepherds are concerned only for the flock and not for themselves. Prophets like Jeremiah stare into a time of defeat and exile. They look at the shattered ruins of Jerusalem. They see the suffering of the poor out of the horrible economic tragedy of that day. And they insist the days are surely coming. Jesus looks at the agony of the cross and insists this will be a great victory for the kingdom of God which is surely coming, which is drawing near. And we, as we proclaim Christ the King, and as we as members of this congregation make our pledges to God this day, we must decide just what we will long for and hope for and work for. As we see the world around us changing, as the things that we have counted on and enjoyed and grown accustomed to pass away, as we strain to see a future that is, is it not at all clear, Will we, like those escaped slaves from Egypt of ancient Israel, will we look backward, longing for the familiar? When they were faced with the uncertainty of the wilderness, those ancient Israelites begged Moses to take them back to Egypt, to the security of slavery that they knew. Or, Will we trust that the future belongs to God? Will we move towards something that we can only see with the eyes of faith? Boldly proclaiming, the days are surely coming. All praise and glory to Almighty God and to Jesus the King, who is Lord over all, even history. Thanks be to God.